Hello, hello, hello. My name is Lady Justice. I have a, another YouTube channel and it is all about um, healing and spiritual awakening and how it transformed my life over years. But this one is going to be all about um, do-it-yourself ideas for people to repurpose their materials, repurpose the things that they have in their house. It's all about reducing waste and creating new products out of it. So I'm nothing typical, so my channel's not even going to be anything typical. Uh, and so it's going to be created the way it's created. And please subscribe, bell button for notifications. So this will be the first video. And I'm creating these works that I'm going to create right now. I have no plan in my head whatsoever. I don't know how they're going to turn out. I've never done anything like this before. It is just how things have come about. So I painted these. Um, butterflies in 2020 as you can see oh no as you can see and they're just pieces on paper which I really as you can see as well that it was all just about transformation and transition I've got a butterfly tattoo I've got a few butterflies on my back butterflies I really love and I really love the pinks and I did a heap of them and I have them up for sale as single pieces, but I really feel what I, and because they're on paper, I, I really like having stuff on board so it lasts and doesn't get ruined. And so what I wanted to do was create uh, textile pieces from these butterflies. And I've got other works as well. I've got skulls and I've got skulls and roses and people but let's see here's some of my people not that you can see them properly on the angle that I've got the on the angle that I've got this but you get you get the point you get the point so what we're going to do is what I want to do is give people ideas to create different works of works of art and so I went and bought craft paper and so this was like five dollars from Kmart and it, it come in like 10 meter rolls or something like that. And what is on it is acrylic and the black is enamel. And painted some butterflies. And so it's watered down or it's liquid down depending on what this has got. Um, to, to thin down the enamel, it's got gum terps in it. Okay. And I really don't even know what I'm going to do with these pieces besides add things to them so whether I'm even going to cut them out right now and put them on board but there's a couple of them so I'm going to turn all these into oh, sorry couldn't even see them all the all the butterflies into works of art and so these will be the first videos on here and the size that they are they'll be on board and they're 60 by 90 or 90 by 60 depending and I would sell them for five fifty each. I sell my artwork according to the size, basically. And so it's just nice and easy to keep it all at the same price range. The reason why I'm doing this is because I started a business that is all about repurposing and recycling in Ballarat called Ballarat Textile Recycling. And so my other channel is about that, is about, it's, it's a lifestyle channel, really, where this is going to be dedicated to textile art and helping people create their own ideas. You know, so I've got suitcases, I've got chairs i've got furniture i've got so many things that i can turn into different things so like um it can turn a suitcase into a cap at home or a suitcase into a coffee table just for example right so that's my little talk about what's going to happen and this video will be that and the creation of of it all getting put together and how i do things you know so um so here we go Please subscribe, bell button for notifications. It is about coming to this world of recreating stuff from what we have. You know, so that's the idea of it. Once you get ideas, you can copy these kind of, you know, so go and paint on some paper, some some butterflies, for example, for starters. If you have acrylic paint, use acrylic paint. And so these are just, I looked up on Google butterflies, and so I got this kind of basic shape of them because they're all a little bit different basic shape of some butterflies and did what I did so 
you can see the way I paint it's very raw it's it's quick so I've got other videos on my other channel which I'll put the link down there as well which shows how I create um, basic art like this like this to me is basic because it only takes 20 minutes to paint this kind of thing you know so um, I'll put links to my other channel as well if you wanted to look at how I create some of my works I haven't got everything up there because I create so much but this channel is going to be about um, do do it yourself textile art really because that's what um, I'm multidisciplinary do everything but but my art at the moment is textiles because I have a full house full of stuff so so let's get to it all right I've decided that I'm going to start with this guy and so it's just about it's about repurposing my art and my ideas as much as it's about repurposing life and all the products that I have and as this has come about because I have so many products so I'm just going to cut this out. I do, I do like the drip, but that'll come also with the new stuff that I put on. So I'm just randomly cutting it out. For this, I like the idea that it's going to be a lot of a combination of stuff. So I'm leaving my signature because I put the year the original things, I put the year down. And um, I also do a little love heart, that's my signature on everything. So Leah Justice, the year that it's created, and a little love heart, you know. So um, this is the MDF board. So this costs about $5 from bunnings if you have a bunnings and so and this is my beautiful table that got donated to me to start creating now like i said i've got nothing basically in my head i don't know where this is going to go but once i start one i'll um it'll flow on from there so it's just this is just a random random cut you know so i'm gonna keep on pausing my vids as i go and then when i put it all together create it and it's just because i go back and forth and get bits and because I've got a house full of stuff the ideas are going to flow as they come this is PVA glue, white glue, whatever you want to use you can make your own glue using um, cornstarch, vinegar and water if you want to have a look at how you make your own glue but for me I just went and bought because I needed fabric glue I bought a heap of fabric glue so it's a little bit different to what PVA is but it is it'll do the same thing so this piece that I painted is acrylic enamel and even if it changes the way it looks on the outside that is a part of the creation of it as well I, I don't care but what I want to do is get this stuck down and create around it. If you know my other work, I don't, I don't do a background on anything. I, my background comes as part of the creation of it. So in my normal paintings, I don't do a background in it. You know. So I painted, suck that down, just to make it stick even more.
So with my artworks, I only create off one-off pieces. I am not into mass producing anything because that is adding to the waste as well because so many people, it's all about money for so many people that they create a lot of waste. And so when you're doing printed canvases and all those kind of things, each their own, that's what they want to do, but it just doesn't sit with me. So what I'm all about is creating one-off pieces. So this is the only one in the world. I never do I never do prints of anything. You can only get this like this and that's it. And once it's gone, it's gone. It's hanging up in somebody's house. Now this has got this has gone all like crinkly as it's gone down because it's quite this is quite wet. I don't care because it's about however things it's about the process of creation it's about things getting created as time goes on so um i'll pause this and do the next thing i don't know how this is going to turn out like i said so this is just my first creation but i, I just wanted to really start this channel off with showing people that you know, creating, creating whatever you want. Um, this is acrylic paint. So I'm going to put some of it on here. I put down a sheet because I'm going to mess my table up, but this is my workstation for everything. I usually do my painting on an easel so it gives that dripping effect this will be end up being picked up and, and lent up so so I can drip so I want to just get um, some sort of background on and it'll all come together as my ideas flow So acrylic paint with water. This is um, this is oil paint, and I liquefy it with gum terps, so it smells a bit better than normal terps because I like that. How the acrylic and the oil don't blend and so straight away it starts to give this different look to it. Can you see how it's doing that? So I do this on most of my works but this is this is a combination this textile stuff is a combination of all my work put together. This is a magenta oil. I like that it does its own thing, you know. So it's like fluid painting, but not at the same time. So I just wanted to get some sort of colours down. And there's chunks of paint coming on there. It's doing whatever it's doing. So 
So what I've got is heaps and heaps and heaps of different materials, laces, all these different textures. And so that's what my my normal art is all about, is, is texture. is about having a lot of a lot of different textures. So right now I am I just pulled this out of a box that I got because there's, there's people that have dropped off. So my my new business is Ballarat Textile Recycling. And so what people are doing is dropping off a lot of clothing, but they're also dropping off a lot of a lot of just um, random textiles. So this is like a bit of lace, you know, that they have from from their works, whatever they've gone to make. And so it's just this. This is how this has come about. I wouldn't have thought of doing this. Uh, if people didn't drop off all this stuff and so I look at it and go what else can I create and so this is it so I'm just going to start putting some some stuff down and so this is I'll get my glue again so I'm just going to start lay, layering some some um, textures down so I just put that down there I just had to pause it to find some stuff because I've got boxes and boxes of things. And I've got lots of these shreds like this that I've created because I make rugs out of them. And so I cut up the material or I cut up the clothing and make it into yarn like this and crochet. Crochet the pieces. So I'm just cutting up some of these lengths that were that were um in the in the box. So random pieces of colour. So I'm going to first, I'm going to, I don't know what's going to happen with these lines of lace. So this is the, the glue again, but I want to stick that down. And so there you go. It's made the, the, the oil paint, which is mixed in with the acrylic, start to run through. And so I'm only tapping it because I don't want to make it do too much other than what it's going to do with the stuff that I've put there. I don't want to change it too much. Just let it do its thing. Had to pause it again. So I'm a, I am a qualified artist. Artist. So I went to university when I was 20, and now I'm 40. And it took me 20 years of working out to be who I wanted to be. So if you want to be an artist, or if you want to be a doctor, or if you want to be or whatever you want to be, just start to be it. So I want to say that. So I'm just putting some of these bits of fabric so at the moment I'm just using straight lines because that's what's there where my next painting might not be straight lines I might plan it a bit more now that this one's come. So I've got, I think, about 10 butterflies that I'll make, turn these into. Then I've got skulls and roses that I'll turn into these as well. So what this looks like now isn't going to look like when it's finished because when, when things dry, they look different. 
So this is a, a length of lace. And now if you want to recreate something like this, it's just giving you the idea. And so it's whatever you have around that you can use to create whatever you want to create. It's You don't have to try to find lace. If you don't have lace, don't use lace. Try to find something else. You know, if you have, um, you might not have MDF board. It's just that I'm an artist and that's what I paint on. So I have that. You can use, find something else. It's all about being creative with the stuff that you have around. I'm just have a business that is that people drop off textiles that people that that I have all this art stuff so I just happen to have it you know if, if you you can make paint out of um, out of products that are around your house you can so if you look into that then um, you know all not having all paint and not having all this stuff doesn't it doesn't matter All this fabric that people dropped off with lots of different flowers and roses are my flower of choice when it comes to painting I do have a signature rose on everything so oh sorry so I'm just cutting these little these little roses out and I'll cut some other other fabrics that I have of roses and then I will I'll come back so just because I wanted to start using all the textiles that I have in different creative ways, I've just cut up a couple of these these fabrics that have flowers on them, have roses. So this has already got like layers on it, which is really nice. And now you just have to think of where I want to put it. So I, I do, I'm liking this area at the moment to start building up some textures. couple of little roses just gonna make this a bit thicker I just got up and sorry this is the way the, the vids are going to be they're going to be like on this angle and because it's it's about 
creating as well. It's not so much just about uh, paying attention to the, the videos. It's about letting the it flow. Now, I, I live in a place that has a lot of flowers, a lot of roses. And since roses are my thing, it was just meant to be. So I am making these pieces with everything. And so it's a combination of what is in my house, what is in my life. And it's all about textures. To me, it's all, well, um, my art is all about texture. And so this is just, doing these is just an extension of, of those textures, you know, and doing this kind of art. So I'm going to use absolutely everything that is in my house with these pieces and I have real life roses so these will get a enamel put over the top of them as well when that when it dries This is all paint. I love the solid colours. I love just squeezing all paint out of of because I have so many colours and so I, I like that. That is my thing. That is I have the same colours in all of my works because it is my thing. And when it comes to artwork it is about juxtaposition. So it's about where you place things as well. That um that attracts the eye you know so it's about combination of colors combination of where you put stuff so I look at this board and it is just so flat to me I need to I need to color it up and now I just squeezed all paint out and it dripped there so that's where it'll stay Just grabbing some different colours. 
bit of purple. If you know purple and purple and orange are contrasting colours on the on the colour wheel. I just have to, I'm just going to do this and leave it and then there'll be a part two. So I'm going to go outside of the butterfly, the black lines that the lace is over. 